In today's video, guys, we'll be discussing five benefits of running a MMA. No, not that kind of MMA, not a mixed martial arts. I'm talking about a master mind alliance. Let's get started. Sold out servants, and you know we've been working. We serving, we earning. The watches is hurting. Serve to earn, baby. What you know about leadership? Start small, build up. Takes a team to win a championship. Big heart, but it started with Chris. Seen a lot when it comes to this biz. Don't serve, don't earn. They gotta shift keys to be a capitalist. Sold out servants. What is a mastermind alliance, right, guys? As most of you guys know, I run an insurance agency. I decided to get a group of my top agents together at a cabin in Loray, Virginia. People traveled in from California, from, from Maryland to, to Florida, to New York. All my top guys came together. So what's the purpose of a mastermind alliance? There, today I'm discussing five key benefits on why you should, should consider if you run a sports team, a, a organization, a sales team, whatever you're doing, a church organization, why you may want to get your top leaders together to run a mastermind alliance. Number one, shared knowledge and wisdom. Guys, I've got agents from across the country. Some are top performers, some are up and coming. We're together in one big cabin training and discussing uh, discussing best habits what's working in your region what's working uh, with your your top clients here maybe this segment guys think about it if you run an organization how do you cross pollinate talent when you run an MMA it allows you to get a group of people together in one room under one roof ideally something that's more intimate not some conference room but somewhere where you're saying okay cool we can let our guards down we can relax, we can share best practices. As a leader, you facilitate the environment in which you, you open the discussion on, hey, what are we discussing here today? What's the topic? Is it increasing uh, client retention? Is it increasing customer service scores? So guys, we've had our top guys come out. One of our top guys from Annapolis, Maryland, he's sharing his best practices to guys from across the country. They're saying, man, these are things that I can use going back to my team, back to my agency in Florida, back to my agency in Ohio. So the first thing is this, get your top people together, this environment, cultivates the environment of sharing best practices, wisdom, and knowledge. Number two, accountability and support. When you run a mastermind, when you bring people together from across the country, across your county, whatever region you're in, and you say, okay, cool, we're going to declare what we're doing. And imagine each individual person, whether you're a part of a, a church group or you're part of like, say, a sports team, you're declaring your intentions, you're declaring your declarations on what you plan on doing. The number one part of accountability is that others know what you're doing so they can hold you accountable to it. The challenge we have in America today is that people aren't being held accountable. What are your plans? What are your declarations? So when we got together this past week in Loretta, Virginia, some of my top guys came out and said, hey, we declare to do this in the next, 12, next, next two years, next four years, next eight years, next 12 months and they're standing in front of their peers. There's a level of accountability when your peers know what your intentions are. So when we go back home, you're not on track to hit those goals, what happens? Accountability comes into place now. Hey, hey, hey Bob, man, you said you are gonna hit these numbers by six months in, and we're six months in and you're only halfway to your goal. How can I help you? How can I support you? This environment facilitates accountability because now you know your, your, your sidelines and your partner's dreams, their goals, what they want to accomplish here, and then you can help them achieve those goals by holding them accountable to it. Number three, new perspectives and ideas. Guys, my agency ranges across all demographics, man. We've got Gen Zs, we've got millennials, Gen Xers, we've got boomers, I've got all walks of life, Jewish American, African American, West African, everybody's on my team, Latino, everyone's on my team. And so here's what's crazy about it. Everybody comes from a different life, a different world perspective review. And when you have a, a, a group of people coming together, giving you their perspective on life, it allows you to offer more to your clients, more client retention, more customer service. In America, we're all potential clients, customers, um, members of organizations. And so the better you understand everybody's perspective, inner city, out in the country, maybe the suburbs. When we were together this past week, guys, people came up to the group and talked about what their ideas were for their, their communities, what's working well for them, what's not working well for them. And what happened is as a think tank, we all got together and said, okay, cool, that may work for me in this scenario, guys. I highly encourage you to do the same for your organization. Number four, inspiration and motivation. I highly suggest if you're gonna have a mastermind alliance, you wanna create an environment, you wanna have a discussion where your team can be inspired and be motivated about what's, what's happening next in their organization, guys. We watched a movie called Invictus by Nelson Mandela, uh, the story of the apartheid in South Africa. And the, the actor Morgan Freeman did a phenomenal job of displaying leadership skills that Nelson Mandela had. We discussed as a team after the movie, what skills do we see Nelson Mandela display that can work in our lives? What, what, what courage did he just play that can work in our lives? And people came up and discuss how they feel about that. And guys, it's crazy that this is just a simple movie of entertainment 
but inspiration and motivation. Guys, in a discussion group where we're discussing how can we improve as leaders individually to be better leaders for our teams. And that inspiration allowed people to say, how do I go back home and better position myself? We also had an opportunity to cast vision on where we're going next in life. And what's the purpose behind business? What's the purpose behind gaining more customer retention, more clients, guys? At the end of the day, business is business. But people are inspired by what's next in their lives. And a mastermind alliance allows an environment to do so. Number five, networking. And the the words of the famous entrepreneur Zig Ziglar, your network is your net worth. It's so true, man, when it comes to business because when you can create an environment in a mastermind alliance where people from different sides of the globe, the country are coming together, they're talking, they're discussing things, they're, they're exchanging phone numbers, emails, contacts, and guess what? When the event is over, the mastermind continues to take place. Why? Because of the networks they've established that day, that week, or that month when they were mastermind at a remote location. So if you're saying, Chris, man, I want to increase teamwork. I want to increase leadership amongst my team. I want to bridge the gaps of the silos of departments in my organization. I highly suggest that you take today out and say, man, I'm going to plan an MMA, a mastermind alliance.